Hi YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick review of the St. Cloud um, bag towel, towel in a bag, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I just received today after um, coming across and seeing these commercials all over social media for about two years. I finally decided to take advantage of their most recent summer sale of 20% off and got one of those bags. I always found this idea really cute and um, like practical for, for a beach, for a day at the pool, um, for a vacation possibly. And um, the reason why I haven't gotten it sooner is because I could not find any reviews, anything recent. Um, on YouTube or anywhere else. So I've read a lot of comments under those advertisements on social media. And a lot of those comments were from people who either have one and really like it, no details, or uh, people asking a lot of questions about how it works. Their ads happen to be uh, very fast, so it's kind of hard to tell how they fold and unfold it. Um, and um, they don't show what fits and things like that. So I ordered it in, um, I believe the color is called Boho, Boho something. Uh, it's still available on the website. This is the front of the bag. Uh, it's in the bag format right now. There's a little uh, fold leather St. Cloud um, uh, label. St. Cloud, not, did I say St. Cloud before? St. Cloud. Um, cotton rope drawstring closure. Um, same thing, the pool and the closure. Uh, faux leather it's very simple on the outside and then the back has uh, two very soft cotton but non adjustable straps um, that was the first negative thing that I have to say about it I wish the straps were adjustable they're okay to like throw in one shoulder they're just not one size fits all they're kind of average length so I guess it would work um, as long as you're not going hiking for hours, but um, I wish I had one of those like um, sliding buckles to adjust the length for taller people and just to fit all sizes. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. It's just almost like a rock sack um, made of the same material as the towel inside, which is attached to it. So before I unfold it and show what the towel looks like, I wanted to address the question that I've seen people ask the most in the comments um, and it was about the capacity because this is um, advertised as the bag that does not just carry the towel um, that the sand doesn't stick to that you can lay on and then shake it off and uh, dry yourself off with and leave the beach or the pool obviously sand is not an issue the by the pool but for the beach it's supposed you're supposed to be able to use it as a uh, blanket to lay on and also to dry, dry yourself off and the sand is not supposed to stick to it but also it's supposed to serve you as a as a bag to carry some of your essentials obviously if you're bringing a beach bag or a cooler you'll have room for more things but i wanted to show what this bag fits if this is all you're bringing so you open it up and this is what it looks like on the inside you can see this material is the towel folded at the bottom it i didn't shove it in there it came unfolded i didn't shove it but i also did not take particular care folding it very carefully so um you know it's a quick fold uh, nothing crazy there is a pocket at the back which is very generous and you can put your valuables in there such as a phone uh, maybe some money if you're planning on buying something from the vendors on the beach on vacation or whatever uh, maybe a card usually i would think you'd bring a little bit of cash to buy some refreshments or whatever um and this pocket is a little bit weird it the zipper closes from right or it closes from left to right, so it's kind of backwards. Uh, it will take a minute to get used to, but it, it it's very generous. If it's a very large phone and whatever else, it would fit like a lip balm, some cash, um, hair tie, whatever, if you're a girl. Um, I'm assuming most 
women are interested in this and not the guys so anyways so yeah this this pocket is where you can put your um phone and to keep it secure and then the rest of it is very very roomy so i was trying to think of what i would put in there and i can fit a kindle i can fit sunglasses say well you normally would be wearing them but say it got overcast while you were at the beach or the rain came or whatever you can take them off and also put them in the bag you can fit pretty much any size sunscreen this one is the three ounces because it's my travel friendly one but the larger one would fit spray bottle or cream you can fit um a bug spray um my nearest beach to where i live is um on, la on the lake and we get a lot of weird not only mosquitoes but the little flies that bite you so you can't really enjoy yourself so um any kind of bug spray is usually recommended and some people were asking in the comments if you can bring additional towel technically you're supposed to use this towel inside that i'll show you in a minute to dry yourself off even if you use it to lay on the beach but say you come out of the water, you lay down on your towel, you kind of dry off, you know, you dry off like air dry, basically. But if you coming out, like if you're going for a swim before you leave, you should be able to shake the sand off and dry yourself off with this towel. So for me, I would not be bringing a separate towel with this, although a smaller one would fit. I would suggest using something like a microfiber towel that's like really thin and... Um, doesn't take a lot of room but I might possibly bring a hair wrap this is another thing that I ordered from Sand Cloud it's a cotton hair turban just because sometimes you want to put your hair up and let it dry while you're walking to the car or to the hotel so um, you know it's not the water's not running down your back while you're walking or whatever so it does have room for that and then um, I noticed that there was some complaints from people who do own this bag a, about inconvenience or people who thought they knew how to use it that all of the items that you bring um, you would have to take them out first before you can lay lay down the towel and it's true because all of this goes in here and to get a towel out you need to turn it inside out so of course you need to empty it out first except for the contents of the pocket it's zipped and you can leave your valuables in there so what I would do to remedy that situation is use some kind of a soft pliable pouch any kind of pouch it can be a, another little drawstring bag this is a little fabric cosmetic pouch well not even that little um, and I would just put all of my stuff in here even the lip balm or a hair tie or whatever even actually even my Kindle would fit in here and I would put this pouch on top you can also put a water bottle in there or you can carry it in your hand it really is roomy I promise you it has so much room I don't know who said that it doesn't fit anything um, I did see a couple of those comments I don't get it because it fits a ton a ton and you just throw it over your shoulder one shoulder or both and you're good to go so when you get to your destination you don't have to put your items into the sand. Everything is nice and organized. You can put your Kindle somewhere, or it can be in the same pouch, right? You take your pouch out, where you're gonna settle down. Like I said, you don't need to take out things that you have in your pocket if you have cash or phone or phone charger or whatever it may be. And then to unfold it, you basically turn the bag inside out. And this is what they show very, very fast in their commercials, so it's hard to tell what they're doing. You turn it inside out in a way that the drawstring is still on top. The zipper pocket ends up on the outside. And then the straps end up inside of the bag. So the pattern that was outside ends up inside. It's just a pouch with straps and the drawstring. And the towel continues all around it so the towel or the bag I should say is sewn into the rucksack is sewn into the towel so when you put it down this way 
if you have something in a pocket just be mindful not to step or sit on your phone or whatever you might have so it, it is a part of the towel and then the rest of it you know i don't i'm not in a frame to show you but the rest of it is just a gigantic gigantic beach towel it continues the other two bottom corners are exactly the same just regular towel uh, so it has three regular corners and then the other side looks like this it has three regular corners and a rock sack at one of the corners so if you're looking at it this way there's a rock sack with a pocket if you're looking at it the other way it's a light way uh, the light color down and darker color up this one is like kind of like a brick burgundy-ish dark red pattern and then the the bag is at the top the straps are inside and the pocket is here so if you don't have anything in the pocket you can also lay it down or you can lay it down with your items in the pocket just make sure you don't forget that you have for example if you have a phone in here so you don't step on it if it's on the ground um, on the sand or somebody who's with you doesn't step on it uh, because the towel will be on the sand and somebody can easily step on the corner and damage your phone and this way is not very like flat because the straps are inside so that that's pretty much it so to fold it back you just basically fold all around this rock sack right so the rock sack is here you can hurry up and shove it really fast like they do in the commercials you can come up and find your own little system how to do it you can kind of fold it kind of with care a little bit like i did and then you just turn it once again inside out so you end up with the straps on the inside or on the outside sorry so because it's attached to that part so you just keep flipping it inside out and once you do that just make sure you push it down so the corners at the bottom fill in like they're filled with the towel because otherwise you're gonna you know waste some room at the bottom then the towel will be too fluffy on top and then you just kind of push it down the best way you can right and then you have access to your pocket and you have room for your additional pouch whatever you need it really is very very generous like i said if you this is perfect for a day at the beach or at the pool or i don't know for hours if you're bringing something else get a bigger beach bag on top of that i don't think this is really intended for a family of five for a whole day um it's intended for one person to go to the beach and conveniently have everything in one place and like i said you can still add more this is not full you can add a snack you can get a drink um it, it's a very good size i'm super super happy with it and they keep adding i noticed in the past two years they keep adding more different patterns they have some new ones right now so it's really cute um it might seem a little bit overpriced, but I did get it on sale, so I think I got a good deal on it. It is supposed to be 100% um, Turkish cotton that um, is odor resistant and um, supposed to dry fast. So it's a good quality material. I think typically it's about $80 for this, and if you can get it on sale, that's even better. But that is all I have to say about this new little towel in a bag if you have any questions sorry i didn't measure anything it was just kind of a spontaneous video that i had a few minutes to make uh but please do ask in the comments if you have any questions i do my best to read those and answer um as often as possible thanks for watching